Hello everybody, Harvey Dunn here. November the 4th, autumn grazing. These breeding cows here. And as you can see, they're really happy on fl fresh grass here. I've just moved them from this area. Uh, you can see it's, uh, it's, it's been hit pretty hard. Lots of manure down there and lots of, uh, lots of trampling going on. And here they are in the fresh one. Let's pan around. That's a better view. They're looking really well. Let's explain what's going on. This is an electric fence here and it's my back fence. The reason I can touch that is because it's not on. Um, it's not on because it won't really get touched. These cows don't want to go back to yesterday's area and eat and, and try to eat uh, what they've already eaten. They're gonna stay on that fresh grass um, because it's clean, it hasn't been trodden on, hasn't been pooped on. Um, so they're gonna stay there. So there's really not much pressure on this fence. I can keep it off. Hopefully they don't hear me. And yeah, that's what we're doing. Let me show you where we've been. We have had one, two, three, now four today paddocks out of this larger field. Um, and I'm going to get five. So just one more tomorrow, one more day, then they're gonna be moving on again to a, another area. Um, why do we do that? Well, that's adaptive grazing. That's having the ability to be adaptive and move the animals where I want them for the amount of time I want them. And even to control their behavior to some extent, how they graze and the impact they have on the land. Now that sounds very technological, very intensive type of management, and it is intensive. However, truly that's just mimicking what the animals want to do naturally. Uh, but we haven't got the scale or the ability to reset that, that rewilding system that, um, that is advocated for. To be truly wild, I'd have to loose these animals in a much bigger herd, hundreds, maybe, maybe thousands of animals all in one herd together as nature would want it on a, on a huge landscape, you know, a whole country in theory, a whole, uh, a whole territory of a country. Uh, that would be truly natural. That would be truly wild. We can't do that because of many, many important problems. I only have access to a certain amount of land and then I don't control anything else. So I can only do what I can do. So what we do is they, we scale that natural vision down to a smaller size, which is this smaller herd and a smaller area of land. You know, this is not a thousand acres. This is about a one acre patch of land. And we're moving them every day, just as they would in the wild. If I loose these out in the wild, they'd move naturally. I wouldn't have to go and do it. So um, I have to build this infrastructure and force that force that natural process, which is quite ironic really, we're having to force a natural process, but we've taken these animals and domesticated them. So we now have to uh, manually add in that natural behavior. I hope I've explained that okay. So that's what we're doing here. We're keeping them off where they would go. They wouldn't naturally want to be where they have been because there's a lot of manure, a lot of poop, a lot of mud, not really mud, just trampling. Uh, they've stood in on all the grass, pooed on it it's not palatable it's not appetizing and there's pests and flies on all the manure pats and everything so they keep going to fresh ground so that's what we're mimicking by using this type of system um, adaptive grazing really it's just adding the adaptability that the animals naturally want um, and naturally would um, the way they would naturally behave if we allowed them to or if we had the ability to allow them to now something's very difficult is always giving the animals access to water they need water all the time so do we uh, they've got food food is covered that's the grass so i'll show you what we're doing for water i've got a fixed location just up here uh, which is the trough that's pressurized live water clean water up there and they're walking down this alleyway um, between these two wires here it's about 30 40 feet maybe they're walking back to water. So they've got a fresh allocation of food and they're walking back to, uh, to get water because it's, it's pretty hard to move water. Water is heavy and it's difficult to move. I'd have to pipe it a long way. So it's cheaper to make 
my beautiful four-legged animals go and walk for it. That's my, um, that's my philosophy, really. So thank you for joining me. I think that's going to do for today. I'll wrap it up. Um, yeah, it's a uh, really nice evening here and cows are looking well. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.